Hello, Bethlehem family. What an interesting time we find ourselves in. Last week, I never would have guessed that this would be where we are at, sitting in an empty sanctuary, socially distancing, and feeling like we are all sort of swimming to keep our heads above water. But we are hoping and praying that our precautions will help, for lack of a more unique phrase, flatten the curve of this virus and protect one another. The news and other media might be stirring up fear in us, but as followers of Christ, I hope and pray that we can hold a posture of care and compassion while sharing the hope that we are all rooted in. None of this is new to God. None of this surprises him. He is bigger than all of this, and ultimately he is holding each one of us in the palm of his hand. We want to take some time to listen to a very familiar hymn and also to reflect on some scripture. As we face feeling overwhelmed, anxious, afraid, worried, and isolated, I want to encourage you with the words from Scripture. I'm going to read these words of life. Let them soak in. Pray them out loud. Let us fill our hearts and minds with the truth from Scripture and let them rule our thoughts and calm our anxious hearts. Isaiah 12, 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you. I will hold you with my victorious right hand. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Matthew 6, 34, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Be assured that God is greater than all of the things we face. He is with us. He is there strengthening and helping us. He is holding us. And when the world seems to be closing in around us and telling us to be afraid and to panic, God's truth whispers strong and sure to the deepest of our souls. Do not fear. Our God is bigger than all of this, and he invites us to give it to him again and again. He wants to replace our fearful thoughts with his words of truth and trust that he is holding us and covering us. And in these days, he can use us to be a blessing to others to bring hope and peace in a world full of fear and unrest. We have a few practical ideas on how we can connect with one another and others during these days. Phone a friend, and if you have the capability to video chat, either via FaceTime or Skype or some other platform, we encourage you to have a small Bible study 
and pray for and with one another. Get creative. Pull out those dusty old markers and paper. Use scripture and create a beautiful picture to reflect God's truth. Send a letter to someone that you might know that's living in, in a place where they are not allowed to have visitors. And if you want, you could even send a letter to someone you don't know and simply address it to someone who may need a day brightener and trust that the staff will find that person that needs a slice of hope. We want to encourage you to limit your time checking the news for updates. It is okay to have boundaries. It is okay to not know the latest at everything that's going on. Family, we have some announcements we would love to share with you. The first one is this beautiful white rose. It is in honor of a beautiful baby boy born to Bella May last week. We want you to continue checking your emails. There will be updates for how to proceed in gathering and meeting in the coming days. We want to encourage you to continue working on the memorization of Colossians 3, 15 through 17, one of Pastor Rick's challenges for us. In the email, you'll find a link for offering and online giving. You'll find a link to order Easter flowers. You'll see a picture of the flower, which is beautiful. And unfortunately, there's only a couple of us here that get to see it for real. There's also a form attached to the email that shows the various positions that we have available for the council and leadership. We are still taking nominations, and so you can send an email back to the church office, and you don't even have to use the form if you want to. We are going to continue to look for ways to connect digitally, through the good old-fashioned mail, and through phone calls. And we encourage you to do the same. Let's thank God. God, thank you for loving us, for being with us. Thank you that you are bigger than all of the things that feel like they are closing in on us. Thank you that you are an all-knowing God. Thank you that you love and care for us and you promise to never leave us. God, use us to be blessings to the people in this day and time. Help us to reach out to our neighbor in the safest way possible. Help us to care for one another Use us to be your hands and feet to bring hope and peace in the dark world. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. All of God's children say, Amen.